Kevin G here, Hudson Cadillac Buick GMC. Hope everybody's doing well. Okay, so this is a first look on a Encore GX scale. McCarthy, I hope you're watching. It's not the package you want, but you're gonna get a good look at the car anyway. Um, so when I say first look, uh, let me explain something. When I say first look, this is really a first look. Like I have made a habit over the years of not judging a car um, by the internet, by the pictures, like I wanna look at the car. And when I tell you I'm really first looking at the car, I'm really first looking at the car. Like I'm not, I haven't studied this car for three hours and then, you know, push the button on the video to, uh, to um, start talking about the car. Like I got in it, I looked around it, I looked around the front, I opened a couple doors. I spent three minutes looking at this car, maybe five at the most before I post one of these videos. So again, I want to be giving you, my audience, everybody out there, a true first look. And then what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll go out and take it for a ride later and study the car a little more and, uh, and dig a little deeper. But anyway, here you go. Encore GX. Uh, for some of you that don't know, uh, this is just a bigger version of the Encore. They call it the GX. They wanted to have something uh, next up in size uh so this is the uh this is their answer so it's definitely bigger uh i really like the look of it like i you know again i i can't judge by pictures unless you're standing next to the car and seeing it in real life you, you can't tell how Im, uh, impactful it is to see the car versus uh, you know versus seeing in a picture or maybe even in this video i mean honestly like i don't know how you're seeing it compared to how my eyes are seeing it but yeah sporty looking i love that front end like much you know much more aggressive looking you know something that uh uh you know appeals uh to the to the masses um you know really pretty um and then you know here you go side view i, I love the silhouette on this thing i think it gives kind of a short stouty look uh, short back end spoiler like 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 aggressive looking car aggressive looking car um, and there you go there's the back again well done I love the lights uh, you know I love the little accents on the bumper uh, you know you got the the, the um, silverish look there with the with the lower panel plus the little I don't know kind of like a pipe that goes around it that trim that's 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 well done you know flat back I don't, you know it's kind of cool when i don't have the bumper it's just you know there's not a there's not a put, protruding bumper it's just flat all the way down it gives it a good look wheels are nice you know nice little touches they're all keyless entry now push button starts with little buttons that open the car a little trim piece that goes along the edge now, this is a base one uh, what they call a preferred, I should say. And I will go into some detail on the uh, options. One thing I did notice when I was looking around the car, um, you know, this is an all-wheel drive preferred with some really nice features for less than 30, at, you know, at the sticker. So any rebates, is, this is a very cost-effective car. I, I learned last time I took the the uh, window sticker down so we can actually read it. So a lot of standard equipment, as you can see. Um even power express up and down windows. This one's uh, uh, cloth interior. Uh, it's called the preferred GX all wheel drive, as you can see. So the options on the car, besides the standard features, um, moon roof and then the cold weather package, which gives you the remote start, eight way power seat, heated seats in the front, like, you know, again, for, for what you're getting in this car and it's only 29.2, you know, minus some rebates and discount. That's really well-priced car um and then as you can see a lot a lot of room in the back seat if you're an encore owner uh this is substantially better uh storage and a third seat and even the engine compartment um so yeah there's a quick peek at that i'll, I'll get a little more in depth let me just walk around the back here just to show you the storage but uh, rear view camera standard as you can see there right on the tailgate uh but uh, I don't, I, again, I haven't looked at numbers. I'm, I'm doing this all just, you know, my opinion and, and just my first true look at it. I would say there's a good, uh, three to four inches there is my best guess in, in terms of, uh, how deep that storage is, but a nice, I mean, nice size for a car of this size. Like that's a lot of storage. Okay. 
All right, now, um, you know, power windows, power locks, uh, real stitching, you know, well laid out door here. Uh, it's not a two-tone, uh, it's not a leather package either, so I'm sure as you go up the packages, you get that nice two-tone, something that makes it, pops out a little. Some people like the two-tone, I, I do. It's, you know, this is just a black interior, so there's a little less color uh, on the door panels. And now on the interior, nice little touches here, carbon fiber like that whole little look right there in the corner. Uh, but you know, the uh, typical hard gauges what that they've really stuck to, I don't know. You know, people say they love the digital. I, I kind of like the hard gauges on the outside with all the digital in the middle there. Um, so, yep, and they've got, uh, it's it's got a lot of safety standard features too. Now the upgraded radio, you've seen them all on my other ones, you know, swipe left, you have the normal apps, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all standard. Um, but yeah, the new screen, it has dual faces in one screen, so you don't have to flip each one, one individually. You can, kind of, if you had nav, it'd have a nav screen here and in the phone down below. Uh, but yeah, you see your radio and the phone hooked up here, so it's all on one screen. Uh, and just your, you know, a couple of your hard keys, very clean look. Uh, this is new. This is, I haven't seen this in anything. This is kind of GX um exclusive you know i don't see any of those buttons on any other car so this is completely new uh but again heated seats you have forward collision alert you have cruise control um you've got uh um the um lane departure warning and lane keep assist uh it's got the um uh, start stop this does have a three cylinder in it by the way uh three cylinder turbo so after i ride it um you know, we'll give it uh, we'll give it a look on that too, and, a, and an opinion on that double sunroof. So yeah, a lot of car for the money. And again, it's this is really well done here with the carbon fiber all the way across. It's a very nice looking interior. Not over the top, but you know, not cheap either. You know, these are all nice soft touch. You know, this is all soft touch up here. This is all soft touch here. You know, some of this is just plastic, but, the, you know, I mean, the car, the entire car can't be perfect. So, <laughs> you know, they put it where they needed it. But, yeah, good looking car. I, I like it. I mean, first look, it's it's and way more roomy in here. Um, I don't fit very well in the Encore, honestly, but that's just probably the way I'm built. This this is like enough seat room, enough leg room, enough elbow room in this interior. And then your typical buttons on the steering wheel. Um, this is... Uh, your phone, you know, so you can place phone calls. This controls your middle screen. Uh, you got your forward collision alert there and then your cruise control here. All right, well, it's a good first look right now and uh, give me a little while. Hopefully by the end of today, maybe tomorrow, um, we'll, uh, we'll give it a full review after we drive it and play with some of the features and we'll see how the rest of it works. Again, Glenn from Hudson Cadillac. Like, share, comment, anything you need, I'm here. Glenn Dingy, Hudson Cadillac.